Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and today I have a yoga sculpt class for you. So I have eight pound weights. You definitely don't need eight pound weights. Um, I just only have either eight pounds or I think like three pounds and three pounds is not heavy enough. But because we will be doing a lot of, it's essentially yoga and sculpt combined, I definitely recommend if this is like your first time, maybe grabbing like a three to five pound weight and seeing how that feels. And whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet in child's pose. So coming into child's pose, sinking the hips back towards the heels, big toes to touch, knees wide to your mat, reach your fingertips out long in front of you, and then bring your forehead down in contact with the mat. And just begin to take a few deep breaths in through the nose here. And open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Another deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Begin to breathe naturally, normally on your own. Maybe you rock your forehead side to side. And just send some breath into any tight areas in the hips, the shoulders. And then let's take a few rounds of Ujjayi Pranayama breath, the breath of fire that will literally heat us up from the inside out. So we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose. Seal your lips, constrict the back of your throat, and exhale back out your nose. Similar as to if you were fogging up a, a mirror. Another deep breath in through the nose. Fill up the belly. Seal the lips and ujjayi. Wonderful. Remember that at any point in time, if you begin to feel overheated, you can always return to open mouth exhales. I actually suggest it. Ujjayi Pranayama breath is great for if you're trying to build heat. And we'll take one more deep breath in through the nose. And this time open mouth exhale. Awesome. Slowly when you're ready, begin to rise up to tabletop, stacking the hips over the knees and the shoulders over the wrists. And you know I always love to stretch out my wrists. I find it's very important. So begin to just rock gently back and forth. And just giving the wrists a good stretch here. And then begin to walk the hands back, flip your fingertips towards your knees. If you feel the stretch and this is enough, you can stay right here or you can maybe begin to rock gently uh, forwards and backwards. But again, very, very, very gently. You don't wanna injure your wrists. Just small movements is all, all your wrists need. Place your fingertips out to the edges of your mat and rock side to side. And then take your right hand, come to the top of your hand on your mat, rock side to side. Perfect. And the top of the left hand, rock side to side. You can bring that palm down. And then center your left palm to the mat. Inhale, sweep the right arm up to the ceiling. And exhale, thread the needle. Bring the right arm through the hole. And rest your head down, your shoulder down, the top of your right hand down. You can keep your left hand by your face, or you can lift your left arm up and over your body towards the inner right thigh. 
I'm gonna inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, twist a little deeper. And don't forget to breathe. And when you're slowly ready, you can press back up with your left palm. Inhale the right arm back up to the ceiling and exhale, bring it down. And this time, center the right palm to the mat. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And exhale, thread the needle. Bring it right through. Relax your shoulder down, the top of your left hand down. Again, you can keep your right hand by your face if you feel comfortable with that. Or you can bring your right hand up and over your back to your inner left thigh. And breathe here, deep breath in to lengthen the spine. And exhale to twist a little deeper. And slowly release, press back up with the right palm. Inhale, sweep the left arm back up to the ceiling and exhale. Place it down on your mat. A few cat and cow postures to warm up the spine. Inhale, drop the belly to cow, lift the gaze, spread the shoulder blades, press into the earth. And exhale, dome the spine into cat, drop the crown of the head, suck your lower belly up and in. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Perfect, come to a neutral spine. Inhale, curl the toes. And exhale, send your hips up and back to downward facing dog and pedal this downward dog out. Take any organic movements that feel good to you. Maybe you keep the feet still and then shift your weight towards either foot. Awesome, when you're ready, come to a still downward dog. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale. Step your feet right behind your wrists. Take a generous bend in your knees. Rest your torso over your thighs. Grasp opposite elbows and let your head hang down so low that you can look directly behind you in ragdoll pose. You might sway front and, front and back, lifting your toes here and there. You might nod your head yes, shake it no, or sway side to side. Go ahead, release your grip and just switch elbows for balance. Again, let your head hang so low, no weight, no tension. Feel that release in your lower back. If you need to bend into your knees a little more, do so. And when you're ready, slowly release your fingertips to the mat. Heel toe your feet together, almost a touch. Leave a slight sliver in between. And with your head coming absolutely last, slowly roll on up to standing. Eyes closed. Inhale, lift the shoulder blades up by the ears and roll them down your back. And then of course, let's go the other way. Inhale, reverse it. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead to mountain pose. Bring the palms together. Eyes closed, hands to heart center. If you brought an intention with you to class, a mantra, a prayer, personal goal, I'd like you to go ahead and bring that to the forefront of your mind right now. And if you did not, I definitely would love to offer up my intention of being patient with yourself, patience overall, but especially with yourself and giving yourself 
the recognition that you deserve and knowing that any recognition that comes from any other source is solely a bonus. You are already enough exactly where you are with what you're doing, even if you have the intention to do more. Whatever your intention was, I invite you to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and open mouth, exhale. Sigh it out, let it go. You can begin to flutter your eyes open, release your fingertips down by your sides and we'll flow a sun A, first without the weights and then we will include weights. So inhale, sweep the arms up, mountain pose, Sadasana. And exhale, fold it over at the waist. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shins. Nice flat back, hold and breathe here just for a moment. Send more weight to your toes than your heels. Suck your lower belly up and in and roll your shoulder blades down your back. You wanna pinch your shoulder blades together like you're trying to hold a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Deep breath in. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Plant your hands, step back, shift forward onto your toes. Come down to a 90 degree angle. Flip to the tops of your feet, inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward. Notice that my thighs are up off the ground and very engaged. And then exhale, send your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Wonderful, let's do that one more time. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale, travel there. You can step or hop or float. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Feel free to bend at the knees if you'd like. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, turn your palms out, forward fold, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, this time we'll include waist. Deep breath in through the nose, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, hop, step, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Grab your weights, I should have brought them a little closer to me. <laughs> Inhale, chair pose, you're gonna bend into your knees, grab your weights, punch your weights straight up. And exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Bring your weights down and behind your back. Inhale, back up into chair pose. And exhale, forward fold, bring them down. Inhale, halfway lift, strong back, flat back. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank. Plant your weights, plant your hands, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, and open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, let's do that one more time. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, step there. Grab your weights, inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, and dive it down. Bend to the knees, inhale, chair pose, take your weights, punch them straight up through heart center. And exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Bring your weights down, lift them behind you. Inhale, back to chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Straight through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your weights, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Wonderful, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, come to your knees. You can take a seat on your mat, take a sip of water if you'd like. I just wanted to Run some things by you with Yoga Sculpt. If you're new to Yoga Sculpt, you want to make sure to protect your joints when you're using weights with yoga. 
um, and I want to make sure I point out some things to you. So if you notice that I mentioned when you're moving your weights, you're always moving them through heart center. You want to just be sure to protect your joints by keeping the movement directly through heart center. Now I'll also be offering other uh, movements such as in Warrior 2. Typically in Warrior 2, we're used to straightening out our arms. When you're holding on to weights, you don't want to do that. You want to always keep a micro bend in your arms. So it would look something like this. And then I'll cue for you to inhale reverse warrior. Instead of bending all the way over, you're just going to put one weight on your hip and punch the other weight straight directly up. Then I'll cue for you to pull your weights in, pivot forward, plant your weights down, and then take your chaturanga. And that's how we'll keep that movement in our joints safe. So whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet back in a downward facing dog and we'll begin to flow our sun A and sun B. You can place your weights at the top of your mat. Come to that downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, travel there. Grab your weights. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale forward fold, dive it down. Squat low, inhale chair pose, punch your weight straight up and exhale forward fold, dive it down. Inhale halfway lift and exhale chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale upward facing dog, shine the chest forward, open mouth exhale, downward facing dog. Moving to the sun B, inhale sweep your right leg up high and exhale Low lunge, step it in between your hands. Grab your weight, setting up for crescent. Inhale, crescent lunge, punch your weights straight up. Engage your back leg. And exhale to warrior two, pivot your foot out. Again, keep a micro bend in your elbows here. Inhale, warrior two, or inhale, reverse warrior. Punch your weight straight up. And exhale, pull your weight in, pivot forward, plant your weights down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands, grabbing your weights. Grabbing your weights. Inhale to crescent. And exhale, warrior two. Bend in the elbows. Inhale, reverse warrior, punch your weight straight up. And exhale, pull your weights in, pivot forward, plant your weights down, take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Great job, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands, grab your weights. Inhale up to crescent. Punch your weight straight up. And exhale to warrior two on the right. Inhale, reverse warrior. Punch your weight straight up. And exhale, pull your weight in. Pivot, plant your weights down. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog, awesome. Last leg, inhale, sweep the left leg up high. And exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands, grab your weights. Inhale to crescent on the left. And exhale, warrior two on the left. Inhale, reverse warrior, punch your weight straight up. And exhale, pull your weight in, pivot. Plant your weights down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Wonderful, inhale, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale. Come to your knees. Place your weights up towards the top of the mat. We'll wind it down here. You'll come to sitting on your bum. Come onto your back. 
Getting ready for a figure four, take your right ankle over your left knee, flex your right foot, and then draw the left knee up. Taking your hands, you can thread them through the hole, interlace your fingertips, and begin to gently on an exhale, and draw the left knee into the chest. Slowly release and switch. Bring your left ankle on top of your right knee. Draw your right knee up towards your body and begin to interlace your fingertips. Deep breath in and exhale. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Slowly release, bring your feet down to the mat, and just windshield wiper your knees here. And you can slowly begin to lift your feet, stamp them up on the ceiling. Moving into happy baby, you can either take your peace fingers and hold your big toes, outer edges, or inner arches of your feet, whatever feel comfortable to you. And you can sometimes add a little movement here, rocking side to side, while drawing your knees in closer to your side body. Sometimes I like to straighten one leg here. And then maybe straighten the other. And then bring the knees in together, arms out to a T. Deep breath in. And exhale, let the knees drop over to the left side. Gazing over the right shoulder, you might hear your back pop. Don't forget to breathe. And then slowly bring them back up through center. Inhale and exhale, drop them over to the right side, gazing over your left shoulder. and then bring them back up in the center. Come into this tiniest little ball that you have all class. Maybe you bring your nose to your knees. And one last sip of air. And exhale, final Shavasana. You can rest all the way out on your mat. Just let your feet fall where they may. Palms facing up, relax your fingertips, relax your toes, moderate your breath. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth and part your teeth, but keep your lips sealed to relax your jaw. Just breathe.
breathe here. Maybe you bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And notice the belly rising and falling. If you have more time, feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you need to. But if you would like to continue on with your day, we'll begin with a nice deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And maybe you slowly move the fingertips here and the toes. And then maybe you reach the arms up overhead. And take a nice morning stretch or evening stretch. And when you're ready, you can roll over. onto either side in fetal pose using your bicep as a pillow. Fetal pose represents the rebirth from our mat to our daily practice. And when you're ready, you can slowly press up with your palm Keeping your eyes closed, come to a seated position, whatever seated position is comfortable to you. And you can bring your palms together to your forehead to remind yourself always, always, always of positive thoughts, no matter what's going on in this world. It's great to be realistic about the situation, absolutely, and also try and see the most optimistic outcome. Bringing your hands to your lips to remind yourself of positive words to others and positive words to yourself. What you tell others is important and what you tell yourself is even more important. And then hands to your heart to remind yourself that you are love, you are loved, you are created directly out of love. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. You can flutter your eyes open. Namaste, friends. God bless. I pray that you are encouraged today. And I hope that you enjoyed that, that practice. That's just like a intro to Yoga Sculpt. Um, Yoga Sculpt does normally have also squats and jumping jacks and sometimes burpees. I might not always do burpees, <laughs> it's not my favorite, but um, we definitely do have other things that I, I will include in future videos, but um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment below, and let me know what you liked. I think you guys can tell that I love responding to all of your comments, <laughs> so really enjoy the support and I'm very grateful for the support. And if you would like to donate, no pressure, but the link will be down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.